Our first guest on this week's show is a young man who is stepping into the role of starting point guard this season for Mike Gray's Fighting Irish basketball team. Matt Farrell helped lead the Irish to victory in the ACC Big Ten Challenge at Illinois early last season with his first career double-figure scoring game and then worked hard and remained patient until late in the season when he provided the spark to help the Irish beat NC State in the final regular season game to stop a two-game losing streak. Farrell then started all four NCAA tournament games, his first career starts, and helped lead the Irish to a second consecutive trip to the NCAA Elite Eight. We're excited that Matt is able to stop by to visit with us on today's show. Matt, thanks for being with us. Um, Jack mentioned the introduction, but you had such a great postseason last year. How does that carry over through the summer and as you head into this season? Yeah, I, I just think that was huge for me, confidence-wise, um, playing-wise. You know, with the guys that were returning, I was able to, to get a little rhythm going with them. Um, I took a big trip in the summer. I got to go overseas and play a little bit for a week, play against professionals over there. And it was just a big transition, you know, getting those starts in the tournament, playing in those atmospheres and just being more comfortable in the system. So I thought it was really big for me. Martins went with you on that trip, right? Yeah, both of us got to go. Um, both played very well. Marty played very well. He was rebounding. Um, so overall, it was a great trip for us, good summer for us. Uh, me and him got to, you know, learn more about each other, you know, coming off screen, stuff like that. So good summer for us. Why, where were you on the trip? Uh, we went to Italy, played on a team called the USA East Coast. A lot of former guys have been on the trip, and it seemed to help them a lot. So it was, it's been powerful for, you know, this program in the past. So right. luckily we got to go over there. Um, Went to a couple different places in Italy. It was just an amazing experience. Now, the summer is largely, beyond that trip, is largely you guys organizing yourselves, right? I mean, there's, 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 there's some greater freedom to work with the coaches than there used to be. But still, mo- most of it is on you guys to organize the summer, right? Yeah, we're, we're here for six weeks. Um, we're on a pretty strict schedule. But, you know, if we want to text a coach and get in the gym, we can do that. So it's up to us. Um, we've got to handle our stuff as well academically. But... You know, we got to be men, and you got to. If you want to work hard, then you know you might get a spot. So, you just got to do what you got to do. You know, uh, as I go around the country speaking, the the fact I'm using more than any other is to say there's only one team in the country who has been to consecutive elite eights in men's basketball. It's not Duke. It's not Kansas. It's not Kentucky. It's us. Yeah. Uh, it's a basketball school, man. It's a. Uh, it, it, it's been a great two years in that regard. Yeah, it's been fantastic, especially for me, my first two years here. Yeah. Going to back to back Elite Eights. Um, just the vibe around campus when it's basketball season, it's just it's been really special for me and hopefully we can we can keep that going. Um, you guys have been working really hard. You uh, you you had this week the uh, the, the 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 fan uh, event in the evening. It's sort of that that's the real signal that the season's just around the corner. What are your observations about this team? Every team's different. What are your observations about I've, this team? I've told many people already. I love this team. I love the way we pass. I love the way we move. Um, and I think we can be really good defensively. Um, I think VJ and Steve can you know anchor us defensively, and I think. Um, that can lead into our offense. You know, I want to play fast. I already talked to Coach about it. We're going to try to get up and down. Um, but, you know, we flow really well. Um, we just all got to help rebound, and we just got to play as a unit. And I think, you know, we can have a really special year. I was at one of your Saturday scrimmages that you guys do in the arena when a, when a lot of, you know, f- fans here for game day can, can come in and sit and watch. And, and, and I think in one of those games, VJ scored every point. Uh, he, he, looked, he looked really good. Uh, was, uh, is that an accurate perception of what he's been looking like? Yeah, I, I mean, I've been in his ear, you know, almost every practice. If you got a shot, you got to take him in. Um, if I'm getting in the lane, I'm looking for those guys, and I'm looking for VJ right away. Um, I told him that when I started last year in the tournament. I said, be ready because I'm going to find you. And he's just an unbelievable player. And I think in the summer he took his game to a new level. Um, you know, working on his getting into post moves because he's shooting over guys right. very long. And I think defensively-wise, he took major stretches, so that's going to be big for us. But just an unbelievable player and an even better person. You know, the, every team carries the stamp of its point guard. And so uh, how am I going to see your influence in ways that will probably cause me to say, oh, yeah, that's that's Matt. That's uh, I, I see how the team's a little different because he's running the show. Yeah. Um, coaches are on me every day about talking. So I'm, I'm yelling now. I'm talking, <laughs> telling the guys where to go, trying to be more vocal. Um, I'm just going to play hard, play confident, and, and, and do what we do. Um, do whatever I have to do to win, um, whether it's scoring, whether it's other people getting involved. So. I wouldn't say there's not really you know, nothing special to it. It's just, you know, go out there, play your game, um, and just do whatever I have to do to help the team. 
So, you know, we've uh, we, we we've had two great runs of having guys leave the team and go to the league, um, which speaks speaks volumes for the program. But when you do that, uh, new guys have to step up. Mm-hmm. Who 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 do you see stepping up this year and playing bigger roles? I think it's going to be a fun year for Martin Gebbin. You know, not a lot of people I've seen him play. I've seen him play a lot. Right. Um, big physical guy. He's 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 different than Zach August in terms of on the defense end. You know, Zach didn't sometimes want to stay at a foul. Chubby want to stand for if You know, if you're getting in the lane on Marty, he's going to foul you hard. Um, (laughs) He's a big dude. So I think it's exciting for him this year, especially, like I said, our trip to the summer, get his confidence up and just play the way he can. And I think he can have a really special year. And Bonzi's going to be Bonzi, you know. Expect the same things from him. And Steve, Steve's always Steve, efficient. And I'm going to try to be more local, uh, I mean more vocal, and uh, VJ's going to do his thing. So we're just going to, like I said, stick to the way we play, not change anything, and just play Notre Dame basketball. Introduce us uh, to the freshmen who are, who are joining us this yeah, year. Yeah, great guys. TJ Gibbs, Jersey guy. Uh, me, Steve, and him are pretty close. Um, I knew his older brother a little bit, so been around him, watching his game. Love the way he plays. Happy he's here. Uh, Nico from Canada, from Toronto. Great shooter. You know, six six wing gives us length out there, and then John Mooney from Orlando, big guy who can really stretch the floor and step out. And they're they've been playing unbelievable. They've they fit right into our system. Um, they're understanding their roles already. You know what they got to do, and those are just three really good guys, good basketball players. Yeah, they uh, having watched them play a little bit. Uh, uh, Mooney's a big guy. Yeah, I didn't realize during the recruiting process just how big he was. Yeah, and, big dude, and you know I'm. Almost all the time, I'm trying to get him to realize that because sometimes he likes to step out a little bit, you know, yeah. be around the paint. We need you in the paint too, John. And he's really making, you know, really good strides. He's he can shoot, you know, he shoots it really well. So he's going to be a really good player for us. All three of them have bright futures here. So speak about shooting well. I I, I don't think I've attended a, a scrimmage or practice just this year where Marty hasn't hit a three. Is this, yeah. is this part of the game? Or? I, I think it's the European side in him. You know, he always <laughs> wants to step out and shoot a little bit. Could, Marty's got a little nice 14-footer. He can catch it, you know, right around the uh, lane area and, and knock those shots down. That's a good shot for him. Right. And I think, you know, this summer he extended his range to three. That's something he worked on. And I think if he does that more consistently in practice, Coach Barry will let him off the hook a little bit and say, you want to shoot those, you can. So, But he's, got, he's very capable of making that. He's a good shooter. Yeah, he's he's really uh, really good in you know at the uh, in the middle of the zone there, sort of right at the free throw yeah, line. That's, that, that's uh, a great shot for him. It so. is a great shot yeah. for him. We talked about the changes in the team. Has some changes in the coaching staff too. Yeah. Um, how how has that created a, a different atmosphere, yeah. if it, at all? It's created a different atmosphere, but we haven't missed a beat. You know, these yeah. are two guys that just stepped right in, understand what, what goes on here. Two former players, um, Ayers being an East Coast guy. Um, you know, we know a lot of mutual people. So he's, me and Steve love him. A lot of the guys love Ayers. Big guys love Humphrey. They love what he's doing. You know, he's done some different things um, than past coaches with the bigs, and they're like that as something new. But two great guys, and they really care, and they they want to win. So two two great additions to the program. Yeah, and I love that, uh, you know, it, it, it says something about where the program is that you can bring back in former players. Yeah who are very qualified to play those yeah. coaching roles. But they, you know, they know the culture. They know yeah. the expectations. They know what this place is about. Young guys, too. So, you know, Ayers working with the uh, perimeter guys, he, he's really teaching us a lot about things, you know, that are game-like. You know, these are guys that have played here, played in big games like that, and young guys, so they're energetic. So it's good to have them on staff. Yeah. Um, going to be a challenging season, uh, even before you get to the toughest basketball conference in the country. Uh, you know, whether it's the Big Ten ACC yeah. Challenge or the game, the Hoosier Classic down in in Indianapolis, or another trip back to New York, which we love to do. Yeah. We got such a great vibe there. Um, that's the way you want that pre-conference season. To yeah, be, right? absolutely. Um, we even got a trip back to Jersey, to play yeah. Villanova. So excited about that. I forgot um, about that. Yeah, really good at a conference schedule. Um, should really get us prepared for the ACC, who is the ACC might even be better than it is than it was last year. Yeah. It's loaded this year, um, but that's what you can ask for. Great games, you know. Every night you don't have a day off, uh, and our non-conference schedule is not easy. But that's something that's a challenge that we're going to face, and we're excited for it. A lot of big games. You know, the past two years, an ACC conference championship, which I just loved. I think that's the coolest thing in the world to go in there and be able to do that. As we said, two elite eights. But, you know, it'll probably be the same preseason again here. It'll be picked somewhere oh, yeah. in the middle of the conference. And, yeah. you know, it won't be top 25. Does that bother you guys at all? That's, as Coach says, that's where we like it. 
Um, personally, I've never paid any attention to any of that rankings, none of that stuff. Um, you go out and play. Whoever plays better on that day wins. That's how the game works. Um, like I said, like you said, probably picked in the middle of the ACC. That's never bothered us. Um, so we're just going to play the way we play. Yeah, well, that's a that's certainly a great so. way to play. Um, you know, in in going through the notes for this, uh, I ran across something I didn't know about you. There's a family relationship to Notre Dame. Your grandfather yeah. went yeah, here. Yeah, my grandfather went here. Wow. Um, just it's funny actually. When I was in high school, we getting recruited by all these other schools, and every time we'd go over there, you know, on a Sunday, family dinner or something, it's always not even hello. It's Notre Dame call you yet? <laughs> Notre Dame do this yet? I'm <laughs> pop. No, you know they haven't called me yet. But just uh. Growing up, I've gone out here a couple times for football games with my grandfather and cousins. Um, so it's just it's it's really special for me to be here and the position that I've you know been put in um, to succeed here and just do what I'm doing. My family's having a great time and I'm having a great time. So it, it's been really nice. So I, I'm actually uh, really excited to see him when I go home uh, in a couple of days. How many days off do you get for fall break? We'll be home Thursday to Sunday. We got to be good. back Sunday and then and then it's go time. Yeah, it is. So. Get a nice little break, and then we'll be ready to go. So, uh, b- besides your granddad's uh, prompting, did 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 was it an easy choice? Why Notre Dame? I mean, was it was it clear to you when the opportunity came? Or um, did, did you did you think about where to go? I had some options. I opened up. I was originally committed to Boston College. Um, going into senior year, um, coaching staff got fired, so I was able to opt out. So I did going into senior year. Had other schools interested, a lot of like St. Joe's um, schools from around me, and then Notre Dame came in, and you know my grandpa almost lost it. But um, ever since I was little, you know, hearing about how special this place is, coming here, coming to football games, the atmosphere here, and just what it's about, and uh, I took my visit here, and it was just there was no chance that I wasn't going to pass this up. Um, I had an unbelievable time, and it was just it's just a different vibe on this campus. You know, even when I go, you know, see friends, it's just completely different. And that's what makes this place special. So it was really not really a hard choice for me. Well, good, fortunate for yeah. us. And also a, a, a family item I was familiar with based on our conversation this summer because I think you've just come back from seeing him. Was you have a brother in the service, right? I do. Uh, he's been in the U.S. Army for eight years now. He's a um, first lieutenant tank commander, and we're really proud of him. He was uh, stationed in Austin, Texas, and his uh, unit's actually overseas right now in Afghanistan so he's doing what he's doing he loves what he does um I talk to him whenever I can I try yeah. to talk to him all the time we'll FaceTime or email so that's my number one guy so we're really close do we uh has he had a chance to come here and see you play or is he always yeah, he stationed has. yes um he came here last year for I think it was the Liberty game and he actually got one of his friends we got a, uh, a ticket for one of his friends to come out and they had a blast he loves it here he met all the guys and they were just having a really good time and actually, the guys in his unit have sent me a couple emails. They they watched our games last year um, while they were there, so they're sending me emails. You know, they're Oregon fans or USC fans, but now they got a a, a reason to root for Notre Dame. So it's really special. The guys in his unit and how they watch our games. It's like three in the morning over there, so it's it's really nice. That's so cool. Eight yeah. years. Is he going to be a career guy? I'm not sure. All I know is I love what he does, and he's always wanted to do it since he was little. That's the kind of guy he was. Um, I'm not really sure, to be honest, but yeah. he's, a, he's a special breed. Uh, we're certainly, yeah. we're, we certainly share your pride in his service. Yeah. And, thank you. Uh, I, I, I do hope we get to uh, see him again this year yeah. thank uh, you. Uh, along the way. Um, give, us, give us a little bit of insight into the non-basketball side of your life here. What's, what's, where do you live? What's the major? What's all, what's all that stuff um, like? So I'm, I'm in Siegfried, living with Bonzi Colson. Okay. Um, Siegfried guy. Who's the messier of the two? Definitely Bonzi. Um, I don't mind his mess, but when it gets to a certain point, that's when I got to, you know, draw the line and say, you know, we can't live like this anymore. But Bonzi's been a great roommate. We've been together for the three years now, or first year, no, but the past two years. And uh, we, it's, it's worked out for us. Somehow we found a way to live together. Um, but he's, you know, he's my guy. And uh, I'm a communications major, film and television, and then I'm a minor in theology. So I'm enjoying it. Well, good. Yeah. Well, we're uh... – we're, we're, we're pleased to have you uh, experiencing this form of media with us this year. Yeah, and, uh, of course. Um, anything we can do to help you in that, car- in that career pursuit, let us know, too. Yeah. Well, it's been a pleasure to have you on the show. Yeah, thank uh, you. Thanks for your leadership for the program this year and for uh, 
for what I know is going to be a really exciting season. And uh, go Irish. Yeah, looking forward to it. Thank you. You bet. We'll be back in a minute. You use the crowd's energy, and it really just pumps me up, pumps my team up. Just to have your emotions heighten your stomach gets a nervous, excited feeling, gets your adrenaline pumping. All right, let's bring in Irish. Defense wins this game. Work for each other, play for each other. At that moment in time, we all know that we're there for each other. Irish on three. One, two, three. Irish! 